Please note that this tutorial is intended solely for fun and educational purposes. It should not be used for any criminal activities. Thank you. Protecting your computer with a Windows password is crucial. This password helps prevent unauthorized users from accessing your computer without your consent, ensuring your privacy and control. However, forgetting this password can be frustrating and disruptive. Many technicians may advise formatting your computer if you forget your password, but this can result in losing important documents. There are various methods to bypass a forgotten password on your computer. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate using a USB device to reset passwords, change passwords, clear history, disable users, and delete users. Let's get started. Please ensure that your USB drive has a capacity of at least 8 GB. Follow these steps to create a bootable USB drive. One, open your web browser. Two, type hirntboot into the search bar. Three, select the first Hirens boot CD option. Four, on the website that opens, click on the download link at the top of the page. Five, Scroll down and find the file name hbcd underscore pe underscore x64.iso. Click on it to start downloading. Six, open your browser and type Rufus in the search bar, then press enter. Select the Rufus application to create bootable USB drives and click on it. A Rufus page will open. Scroll down to find Rufus 4.5.exe and click on it to start the download. Wait for the download to complete.
Once the download is finished, click on Rufus4.5.exe to open it. A pop-up displaying the Rufus update policy will appear. Click to proceed. The Rufus 4.5 settings page will open. Navigate to the Boot Selection section and click on the drop-down arrow. 13. Click on the Select button. This will open a file explorer window. 14. Navigate to where you downloaded HBCD underscore PE underscore X64.ISO and click on it. 15. Optionally, you can enter a name for your USB drive in the Volume Label field. 16. Click on Start and then OK. The USB drive will be automatically formatted and the Herens Boot CD PE ISO file will be installed. Seventeen. Once the installation is complete, remove the USB drive from your computer. These steps will help you create a bootable USB drive using Rufus with the Herens Boot CD PE ISO file. Here are the revised steps. 1. Insert the USB drive into the computer where you've forgotten the password. 2. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click on the power icon, then select restart. 3. Click on restart anyway to proceed. Four. On the choose an option screen, select troubleshoot. 5. Select advanced options. 6. Choose UEFI firmware settings. 7. Click on Restart, and the computer will reboot into BIOS mode. 8. In BOS, locate and select the Boot Sequence option. 9. Use the arrow keys to move the USB drive to the top of the boot order list. 10. Confirm by pressing OK and then exit BIOS settings. Following these steps will allow your computer to boot from the USB drive, which is prepared with Hiren's Boot CDPE, facilitating password recovery or other troubleshooting tasks.
After the computer has successfully booted from the USB drive, follow these steps. 1. Click on the Start menu. 2. Navigate to All Programs. 3. Find and select Security and Password. 4. Locate Windows Login Unlocker. 5. A Windows Login Unlocker window will appear. 6. Right-click on the user account and choose either Reset Password or Change Password. For this tutorial I prefer to choose Change Password. 7. A Change Password page will open. Enter your desired new password and click OK. Eight, shut down the computer and safely remove the USB drive. Following these steps will enable you to change the forgotten password on your Windows computer using the tools provided by Hiren's Boot CDPE. After removing the USB drive, one, power on the laptop. Two, the Windows password screen will appear. Three, enter the new password you created and click OK. Congratulations! You have successfully resolved the issue of a forgotten password on your computer. If you found this tutorial educational and easy to follow, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Your support encourages me to create more tutorials like this. Thank you.